In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add your buy me a coffee widget into your live stream in Ecamm Live. Hello, welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec and uh, Buy Me A Coffee is a great way to monetize your channel even long before you get monetized on YouTube. I'm still not technically monetized on YouTube, but I have been uh, using my Buy Me A Coffee link in my uh, my videos for quite some time now so people can go there and support on a one-off basis or on an ongoing basis using the uh, subscriptions that are on offer there uh, or even to go and book consultation calls with me and things like that. So uh, Buy Me A Coffee, if you are a creator, is certainly something that you should be signing up for uh, immediately <laughs> there's no harm in having it there uh, and so what we're talking about today though is uh, if you do uh, live streams and you have buy me a coffee then you can actually have it so that you will get a little pop-up come up over the top of your uh, screen uh, at the time when somebody makes a donation through buy me a coffee so it's a great way to let people show their support and it to come through actually on your live stream so somebody asked the question of uh, how exactly do you get this embedded into your uh, your channel or into your your stream and now i did do a video i think that covered something like this certainly talked about buy me a coffee uh, however there has been a change in uh, ecamm live version 3.9 which makes it's a little bit more versatile and we'll come to that in a moment and that's all related to uh, cropping of overlays but anyway let's uh, <laughs> let's not get too far ahead of ourselves uh, let's go first of all to buy me a coffee and I'll show you how to get the bit of code that you need uh, in order to embed it into your Ecamm Live production so uh, we'll head over to my buy me a coffee page uh, which is incidentally, I suppose it'd be rude not to mention it. <laughs> it is uh, buymeacoffee.com slash take one tech. <laughs> um, so that is where you can go and sign up to uh, either a, an ongoing membership on a monthly basis or to just go and buy me a single coffee if you so wish. <laughs> but anyway, this is what it looks like in the interface. I've not actually gone in through the dashboard because uh, it does show sort of email addresses and things like that of everyone who's made donations. So I don't want to display that here. But basically, when you come in, you would come in at the dashboard level. Uh, and what you want to do is come down to the settings menu on the left hand side, assuming that you obviously have an account and you've logged into it. I'll take that as a given. <laughs> so come down to the settings. Uh, and then in the settings, you want to come up to the top and you've got settings, payouts, integration and notifications. So settings is just some uh, general settings. Uh, payouts is where you manage how you're going to get paid. Uh, notifications, surprisingly, managing your notifications. But what we're looking for here is integrations. So click on integrations. Uh, and then this should load up uh, these things here. So you can integrate with Discord. So if you're giving people access to a Discord server as part of your uh, your membership that you're offering through Buy Me A Coffee, uh, then you can hook that up here. Uh, if you are using uh, WordPress, then you can embed these things into uh, WordPress as well. Uh, and then if you're using Zapier, then you can uh, make connections with that. So Zapier is basically an automation service. Uh, so you can have uh, automations from that. So for example, if somebody signs up, it does such and such, maybe it adds them to another list or something like that like that so uh, that is what uh, the Zapier is integration is for but what we're looking at is this one here this stream alert uh, and so what we're going to do here is customize this and basically you can pick the uh, the color that it's going to be uh, you don't have the full range of colors. You've only got these ones to pick from. So you can't enter a hex code for example if you've got a specific color that you work with uh, just yet. I'm sure that will be added in due course. Uh, you don't get to change the sort of overall look and feel of these things either so uh, you are unless I take that back unless you were to use something like Zapier and have it trigger something in a completely different package like stream elements or something like that but that's not what we're talking about today <laughs> so if you're going to use the built-in buy me a coffee stuff then uh, it's basically going to look like that or obviously purple blue green or red um, so uh, that is uh, the way that it looks and what you need to do then is oh by the way you can change the uh, the sound that's going to play with it as well so if you want to change the default you can just upload uh, an audio clip I have uploaded an audio uh, a different audio clip actually so I can't remember what the original sounds like now but in any case uh, if you want to have a specific sound that rings uh, or plays once on the stream when the uh, the alert goes then you can upload that here uh, but what we're going to do is we want to uh, copy this URL so I'm just going to copy that now and in fact while I'm here let me just play a little test of it so if I uh, send a test oh no there's no point sending a test I haven't set it up yet I'm getting ahead of myself aren't I <laughs> Let me uh, let me set it up first and then I'll send a test. How about that? That sounds like a better plan, doesn't it? Right, so um, let's go and uh, I'm going all over the place now. Aren't I? Let's copy that URL. 
<laughs> Step one, copy the URL. Then we'll go back over to uh, um, Ecamm Live. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to share my screen for a second. And that's a bit better. I'll share that part of the screen. That's a bit easier, isn't it? So now what we're going to do is we're going to add in uh, an overlay. And I'm going to actually add this into all scenes. I'm going to lock this here. So what we want to do is we want to come down to uh, in our overlays window. Uh, we're going to come down here to the one that looks like a little globe and uh, we'll add that one. That one is basically the widget. So we're going to add a widget. So add on widget. Uh, and here you can see it's got the name. So I'm going to call this buy me a coffee. And then what I'm going to do is uh, come in here. This has already been highlighted because it must have been the last widget that I actually added in. This will probably be blank if you haven't added in any widgets yet. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, click on that one. Uh, uh, sorry, paste into this uh, this field. So this is now my uh, buy me a coffee uh, widget. Uh, so then I'm going to come and uh, highlight this. So you can change the size of this actually, but I'm not going to do it here. In fact, let me uh, let me just leave it as it is for now, and I'll just add that in as a widget. So now we've got this widget here, and you can see that it says buy me a coffee when I hover over it, uh, and you can see roughly where that's going to be. So you can sort of drag this and resize it. So often a lot of people will do this, and they'll make it the same uh, size like that. Uh, and then if I now go back to that uh, particular page that I was talking about, so let me come out of demo mode, uh, and you'll see the buy me a coffee on there. Let me send a test now, and let's see, uh, see what happens. So if I uh, send test, uh, the buy me a coffee bit at the bottom stays there and you've seen, there we go, the, <laughs> that's what happens when somebody uh, buys a coffee. But can you see how that is not really all lined up perfectly and you can change the uh, the size of it, as I said, with um, the uh, those when you're actually embedding the widget. Uh, but it can still be a little bit tricky to actually get things all lined up. So let me just send another test again and I'll just show you what I'm talking about. Ideally, that thing there that's just popped up, uh, this one, <laughs> Ideally, I'd want it central and up at the top of the screen. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to move it up to the top of the screen. Let me try that again and send another test. Uh, so you can see that is probably more like where I'd want that to come. Uh, and I might even want it a little bit smaller, something like that, perhaps. So that is now in the uh, the right place. But now we've got this buy me a coffee bit at the bottom, which is in the wrong place, isn't it? So what I'm going to do is uh, let me come back into my screen sharing a moment. In fact, let me just bring this other window. I'm a bit disorganized. Can you tell today? <laughs> uh, so I'm going to bring this window with the uh, Safari page back in view so that you can see everything that I'm doing. Bear with me one second. <laughs> There we go. So now I've got my uh, Safari window open just down here and I've got my uh, buy me a coffee there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to crop this part out because to be honest with you, I prefer to just design these little banners myself. So for example, when I'm doing my uh, live stream, uh, then I just have this, uh, not this one, I have this one <laughs> up all the time, which has got my buy me a coffee link on it. So I don't necessarily need to have the one that's been uh, provided by uh, buy me a coffee. I just have my own that's more in my sort of custom branding and style I suppose uh, for <laughs> as much style as there is to it. So what I'm going to do with this one though, uh, so this is the buy me a coffee widget, is if I hold down the alt key and then come to the edge, what I can actually do is I can actually just crop this out because I'm not really interested in all of that empty space there. Uh, and then if I just run this again and do send test, so send another test, then now when it pops up we can put that exactly where we want it. And we could even resize it a little bit if we want. Say we wanted it a bit smaller. Obviously, you could put it where you want. But let's say we want that directly in the center above my head, <laughs> just like that. Um, so now we've basically got here over on this side, we can see our buy me a coffee widget, uh, which we've added in, uh, is there. Now we, we could probably lock that because it's in the right place. Let me just come down to here and send a test again. And send a test like that there we go that's exactly in the right place um if you did want to still have that other widget part from the bottom uh, what you could do is you could hold down the option key and just uh drag this whoops a daisy i locked it didn't mean to lock that <laughs> uh you could just come here and uh hold down option <laughs> and drag it so now you can see that that's just duplicated it uh, and then with this one what we're going to do is hold down the option and just let's show that little bit there in the corner uh, and now basically it just means that you can place those two things completely independently of each other so there is now effectively two widgets running so if I come out of demo mode uh, I do still have the uh, the two widgets running uh, one of them is down at the bottom 
Uh, and the other one is now uh, off my screen because I've inadvertently closed the window. <laughs> so if I send the test again, uh, what you'll see is that that one's there, but I can still move this one completely independently of it. So you still do have that one that's been sort of custom created for you. Uh, one last thing that I think is worth uh, mentioning with this, uh, and this was, uh, so that was the new feature that was added in uh, Ecamm Live 3.9, the ability to crop, and it works with widget overlays as well as the camera overlays and things like that. Uh, but what you want to also have a look at is another feature that was added in 3.9. Uh, if you come into these widgets, then click on the little cogwheel next to them. Uh, you've also got this option here, uh, which is keep running. And what that means is even if you haven't got the uh, the widget physically visible over the top of your um, or in your scene, it will keep it running in the background because sometimes when you activate a widget, it takes a little while to load up. Now, it might not necessarily be an entire problem with uh, with this sort of widget because you generally have it on in the background anyway. But personally, uh, I just like to toggle this one on uh, and then save that. And then I'll just do the same with this one. Oh, that was the one I've just done. <laughs> I'll do the same with this one then. <laughs> keep it running. Uh, and what that means is that uh, if you do actually hide these like this, uh, when you toggle it back on again, uh, it just appears instantly. Whereas if you actually don't have that um, that toggle on, in fact, let me just do a quick demo of this. If I take that off, then what you'll see is there is a delay in its appearing. So if I just toggle this one off now, uh, so look at this buy me a coffee in the bottom corner. When I uh, toggle it on, there is a slight delay. It's only momentary actually with this particular one, but I just leave those on all the time so that basically they just appear instantaneously uh, when you switch them on. So uh, that is, in a nutshell, how to uh, add the uh, Buy Me A Coffee widget overlay into Ecamm Live. Uh, and so this is probably a great time to mention. Uh, if you found this useful at all, then uh, definitely like and subscribe. <laughs> but also head over to my Buy Me A Coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash take one tech. Uh, and you know what you can do there. <laughs> so that is all for this video, but don't worry, there are plenty more great videos related to Ecamm Live coming up. So I'll leave a link to uh, some of those over on the right-hand side right now. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye-bye.